I'm gonna give you four reasons why you should never, ever, ever, ever apply for the fiance visa, just get married. You know I love you, Josh Goldstein, but I'm gonna to have to disagree with you on whether it's sometimes appropriate to file a fiance visa. We still do that for some of our clients, and here's why. The first thing you gotta do is determine what's most important to this couple. Is it to be together as quickly as possible, regardless of the cost or the complications, or are you okay spending a little bit more time apart if it's gonna save you some money or some additional hurdles when you get into the United States? Also, where are you in the world and what is the processing time where the fiance is located? In both cases, you have to file an I-129F on a fiance or an I-130, so a family petition essentially with US Citizenship and Immigration Service. And both of those take about a year to process. But with the fiance visa, you get to skip through all of the requirements in the National Visa Center for providing someone a green card, like some of the medical requirements and some of the sponsorship requirements. And you get to basically fast track yourself to the appointment at the embassy. And for cases in Mexico, that's three months versus what can be up to two years for a marriage-based case. So in some cases, it's gonna be a little bit faster to do the fiance visa and you're gonna to get together in the United States more quickly. And then you do have to file for the adjustment of status and go through all of that once you're in the United States, but you're here and you're together. Um, in other cases, you might say, it's only gonna be an extra five or six months and we don't wanna to have to mess with all the nonsense of the green card after we get here, and so we're gonna go the marriage-based route. But as always, what you need to do when you're contemplating this, you've fallen in love, you have your fiance living abroad, and you wanna figure out how to start your life together in the United States, start with an immigration lawyer, consult with them and say, this is where I live, these are my main objectives, tell me all my options and help me weigh the pros and cons. And that's what a good immigration lawyer will do in a consultation.